track weather with Chief Meteorologist Matt Miller. Tonight we've got a wintry mix over the northern tier of counties. Uh, farther south, it's been drizzle and light rain periodically through the day where temperatures have remained above freezing. Now tonight, all of that will move out to the north and east and will actually start drying out and eventually clearing out later tonight into the early hours tomorrow. Now with that, a stronger breeze will also come in. Sunny skies and a brisk northwesterly breeze on Tuesday. We will still warm up. It will still have a bit of a cool factor to it, but then warmer temperatures as we head into Wednesday. We'll follow that up as we head into Thursday, turning colder behind a cold front for the middle of the day on Valentine's Day. Showers to the east over parts of Jefferson County. You get into northern Jefferson, Atchison, northern Jackson County, and then much of Nemaha and Brown counties. And we've got that wintry mix of sleet, snow, and some areas freezing drizzle. So watch for slick roadways still ongoing across the north central portion of the area. Here's a look at Mayetta. Cloudy skies, uh, cloudy in the Emporia area. See a little bit of just kind of that uh, low cloud cover and uh, just hanging around. It's been kind of that low to the ground cloud, some drizzle every now and then falling. Uh, Manhattan, as well as in Topeka, reduced visibility as well with that drizzle. 34 degrees, northeast winds at 8 miles per hour. Temperatures are still above the freezing mark without an immediate threat of freezing. And in the vicinity of I-70, now the farther north, especially toward U.S. 36, that's the problem area. Temperatures have hovered right around 33 to 35, and with a decent amount of rain that fell today, for many of us, kind of lucked out that it wasn't worse than it could have been. Now, that is not the case up north. Temperatures running about 30 to 32 over the northern counties, and those areas have seen not only some slick roadways develop, uh, but some areas are a little covered as that sleet moved through and really co coated the roads white in many areas up north with a northeasterly wind at about 7 to 13 miles per hour. Temperatures, well, they feel like they're in the 20s or in the 30s. Uh, I should say the temperatures are in the 30s. It feels like it's in the 20s when you factor in that wind all the way southward in toward the Topeka, Manhattan, and Junction City areas. There's a look at that wintry precipitation, by far worse to the north and east, but enough that it is causing some problems over our northern counties. We'll continue to watch another system out west, currently making its way in toward the Pacific Northwest. That one will start heading our way, but it won't arrive until later in the week. So any light wintry mix north and northeast this evening pushes out, and we're left with a clearing sky for tonight, sunshine for tomorrow, and that sunshine will then carry over into Wednesday as well. We'll start to take another look at that next system coming in. Now we're heading into Thursday with a cloudy sky. The front approaches will actually start off mild, but then turn sharply colder through your Thursday. Should stay dry Thursday with a wintry mix, and it's looking more like a light snow may clip over the area as we head into Friday, and then perhaps yet another one beyond that towards Sunday or Monday of next week. But in between that wintry weather on Friday, and now we warm up to 55 on Wednesday. That's the warmer day. 45 and falling temperatures on Thursday and then settles into some colder weather. Now for Thursday itself, for Valentine's Day, things are looking on the cool side. It depends on how you look at it. If you look at the morning temperature, 44, not bad, but 15 to 25 mile per hour winds, We'll issue a cuddle alert for that one as it will be turning cooler toward the evening as that next round of cold air comes in. Chance for snow again later in the weekend or early next week. We'll keep an eye on that system. Of all of these, that system Sunday into Monday has the most potential to uh, maybe get a little bit more organized. Whether or not it takes the proper path is too early to tell, but it's got the most potential to it. So we'll watch that, but could see some light snow after Valentine's Day on Friday with the next system. So when will this officially be over? Uh, June. Oh. <laughs> you know, I mean, eventually we're going to get out of this pattern, but honestly, the way we're going, it's a very wet pattern that may carry over into the spring as well. So strap in, it's like a really bad roller coaster. <laughs> just constantly. It's nice on the warm days, not so much yeah. on the cold. You'll like Wednesday. Yes, but it is hard, and this